Pisces. What's good, guys? Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're just discovering me, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, if I vibe with you as a reader, you can find that info in the description box below for personal readings. I read for everybody in my mama center, along with uh, Wissio. With everybody in mind, you can book a Zoom meeting um, with me, or on Wissio, you can request a video response reading. And that usually takes one or two days for me to get back to you, but I have up to five, just in case you miss, just so you know. Um, I do recommend the Zoom meetings, though. They're a little more interactive, and you're able to ask questions and all that. So, all right, my beautiful Pisces, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. I think I forgot to say that in the Scorpio reading. Um, and what else? Oh, I don't know. There's a love reading for my Pisces. All right, I'm going to get this done. And then uh, hopefully next week I will start with the past life. Or not next week, this week. It's Monday. I keep screwing that up because I am trying to catch up. All right. Beautiful Pisces. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space. So mote it be. All right, beautiful Pisces, what's happening? What is happening? My lovely, lovely Pisces. All right, we've got the Earth Guardian. We've got Autumn. And we've got the Animal Guardian. So it's important that you stay rooted and grounded. Get outside, spend some time outside. Or if you can't do that, take a bath. Anything that makes you feel grounded without it being destructive, you know? Like even for me, sometimes um, smoking tobacco makes me feel really grounded. And I know that's not good for me. So, um, you know, stay away from the thing, the grounding things that aren't necessarily good for you. But definitely do the grounding things that are good for you. Um, autumn, release old and rest. So Pisces, you may be overworked right now. Maybe you got a new job or your old job is just being extremely demanding. But... In the times that you can rest, and if your intuition is screaming something at you, trust it. You may also be a pet owner. Animals may be a big part of your life. Uh, you can depend on, you know, the the furry friends in your life to um, be there for you, which is interesting. That doesn't always come through with that card, but this time it is. So, um, you know, spend some time with your pets, maybe even petting you know, the soft fur of your cat or dog or, you know, just spending time with some of your other pets may help ground you as well. Um, walking your dog, whatever, you know. Ooh, your person's in a good place. They're making all the right moves. And they have something that's coming in that's causing them to be very, very happy. Um, I think they've probably been working very, very hard, whoever it is you're asking about. Ooh, there's something they need to release and need to be right about. And we'll see, Pisces, what else is going on. And also, they may need to focus on this connection more. At least that's what you want, you know. Um, you both could be spying on each other, which, who knows? I mean, just even watching a YouTube video about somebody can be considered spying. Um, but you're both definitely, there could be a lot of communication between the two of you, but... It does seem both of you need to set your sights higher on what you want. Ooh, magician. I love it. All right, Pisces. Manifest. Oh, what are you manifesting, though, buddy? I mean, I want you to... I don't want you focusing on the yucky and the pain and the sadness and the hurt because then that just manifests more, you know? So maybe that's why you need to rest. You may be working way too much. Um, and it's causing some depression or sadness, or this could be you manifesting your way out of the pain. We'll see what else comes through, but, you know, the Ten of Swords is killing something. Whoa. Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. I think, I think Pisces is a little afraid to let go. Part of you wants to rush out and get out of there, and then another moment you're not sure. I think this might be a long-term connection, something that you have been in for a long time, and it's what feels comfortable, even if it is painful. And that's not, you know, it's just because this person's been around for so long, something like that. 
Three of Cups, Empress. Oh, you could easily have a child with this person, Pisces. Um, or you may need to, you're not sure how to apologize. You may be dealing with a real Empress that there could have been some third party interference here. Um, or you're the Empress here. And, you know, someone needs to apologize to you for any third party interference. Either way, you've got victory with the Magician and the Empress here. So make sure that you are, you know, have your sights set on the gold, Pisces. What you really want in this life. Okay? What's this? What's up with this person? How do they feel about Pisces? Trapped. Oof. Oof. They are stuck. And they don't know how to talk to you, Pisces. Um, I think because you are such a high vibe person. They are holding back. You may be dealing with a Leo, um, but they are holding back big time and they feel very much up in their head and that's what they need to release the need to be right about. Wow. All right. Ultimately, this person wants healing with you. There was a breakup at some point, but they do realize that you're their wish fulfillment, Pisces, and they want to heal this, but they just don't know how to say it to you. But you, you just keep it moving, Pisces, regardless of what they're doing. You know, I wouldn't let this person hold you back at all. Ooh, something's been walked away from or something needs to be walked away from. We'll see what else is going on, Pisces. My lovely Pisces. Oh, what is going on? This person absolutely would want to make things work with you after a breakup. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like over. That's why I'm going to do the past life readings next week because, or this week, because I'm just so tired of reading about past people and obsessions over past people. Um, and there's a lot of that here. Six of Pentacles. You are manifesting an equal give and take relationship, Pisces. And that's what you, that's, you will not settle for anything less than that. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, you're ending a lot of karmic cycles here. And that's good. I think you're being more forgiving of yourself and others. And understanding that, like, you know, everybody's a little broken. But it doesn't mean that, you know, you can get dragged down by others. You need to empower yourself. This Knight of Cups is, is your energy. So you are in your Piscean energy. Even if it means starting over from scratch, you're, you're going to just end this and restart over. And that's fine. I'm getting that, like, even though the death card isn't here, Pisces is in the middle of, like, a death and rebirth process, you know? And I would let go of anybody from the past, Pisces. I don't think it's serving you. And I don't think that, you know, it's helpful. Ooh, the moon and the, oh, wow, a lot of Piscean energy here. You might have some Aries in your chart if you're, like, on the line, too. But, um... There is some depression here, and I do think that, you know, you're not going to settle for anything less than a wholehearted apology from this person, or you're just, you know, you're ready to find real love. That's what I'm getting, and you're ready to let go of any kind of illusions, and if this person created any kind of illusions for you, you're done with them too. Ten of Pentacles, wow. You might have lived with this person. They may have a lot of money. Wow. And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be an earth sign, Pisces, or someone who makes really good money. Um, and But I don't think they ever, I don't think they gave to you. With the amount of holding back I'm seeing here in the breakup, I think that might be part of what, what broke you guys up. Three of Cups, yeah, and... I believe this person did let other people get involved. There's a lot of threes here, so some third-party energies. And, you know, other people got really involved in this connection. Um, I do believe this person wants reunion with you too, though, Pisces. And I don't think you're down. I think that, you know, it does cause a lot of illusions in your life. Ooh, four of wands. Wow. This person could be twin flame, Pisces. Um, and that can be hard to resist, but this person, you know, is holding back way too much. King of Swords and Knight of Swords, you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius. 
Um, it does look like these two knights are right running right towards each other, but it's very impulsive energy. So I want you guys to watch that. Uh, this person's very much up in their head. This is definitely a more feminine energy, and this is definitely a more masculine energy. Um, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Wow. This looks really complicated, Pisces, and I would take your time. If this is a past person, which it looks like it definitely could be, um, I'm getting that they might have been a little manipulative, mentally manipulative, or financially manipulative, you know, using that money against you. And I, I just or to hold that money over your head, if that makes any sense to you, Pisces, and it's not cool. Um, yeah, this connection has caused you nothing but pain and anxiety, Pisces, and a lot of sleepless nights, because it, it's never been equal. This person has all the well, but they don't give to you, Pisces. It's, it's always been you giving to them. And that does not work. That doesn't, it's not 50-50. And yeah, and you end up walking away feeling depleted and used. And ugh, ugh, don't no one need that, Pisces. So it's time. It's time for you to go. It's funny. It's, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm gone. I'm on. Kiss my kiss goodbye. Good night. I'm not even singing that right. It's, I'm, I'm gone, so gone. Kiss the bitch goodbye, so gone. Uh, or so long. Yep. Take some time to be alone, Pisces. And really gain some inner patience, some inner temperance. <sighs> yeah. You gotta, yeah, it's kiss the bitch goodbye, so long. You, you can't deal with this person anymore, Pisces. It's over. Um, they cause nothing but hurt. You feel like you've given and given and given, and they're not giving back, um, and that's very hard for them. I do think this person is searching for balance. It could be a Libra that you're dealing with, um, but they're holding back for a reason, and you know, you've know you got to just let them go. That's the biggest part. And, you know, I don't want to demonize this person, Pisces, but I also, you know... Don't trust them. Yeah, here we go. Here's the Knight of Swords again. Very impulsive energy. They make impulsive decisions. They come in and out of your life. And it's all based on what they need or what's going on with them. And if they need something from you, they'll come to you. But if they if they don't, then they're, they're not their ghost. And it's like what it's all very, it's, um, you're getting, you're dealing with someone who's extremely selfish. Yeah. And I, I'm getting, you're getting breadcrumbed, Pisces, like little bits, just little bits here and there. They're giving it to you and then pulling it back. That is not healthy. And it's almost like they're trying to get you to follow them with their little breadcrumbs, you know? And it's like, no, no, no. Pisces is too good for breadcrumbs. Yeah. Eventually, this person is going to want to work with you, or they may be dealing with other people, too. They, all right, I'm getting this person deals with multiple people, and they come to you for what they need, they get what they want, and then they go again. Hold back. No more of this. This person can't use you anymore, Pisces. Don't allow this person to use you anymore. It's not good. It's so uncool. Uh, third party shit everywhere and it's all about you getting alone and and finding that temperance energy that you know guided angel energy let's see what else can i tell pisces though my poor sweet pisces my sensitive pisces oh no i hope this doesn't resonate with you because this is whack you it does look like a little bit like narcissist empath and dynamic going on stability you're yeah you focus on your stability. Don't worry about this person. All right, Pisces? That's they they don't have to you don't have to worry about them. Yeah, and keep it moving. Um I would possibly if you need to focus on getting a new job, I would or a new place to live or something. But whoever these people are, they I do get that they're using you. They may have also taken you to court. 
with this this justice card. Um, I don't like that one bit. So watch it. You know. Um, God, why am I getting this person may even try and sue you or something, Pisces? So I would watch it. Um, let me see. Yeah, Pisces, pain, the devil. Oh, Pisces, look. It's a Pisces card with grief because of insecure attachment I'm getting. And you've got to manu manifest yourself out of this connection, Pisces, so that because you've got a real negative connection here and it's not working out for you anymore. And it's, it's almost like addictive for you. You feel like almost like this person is a drug and you just keep going back and it's not worth it. Yeah, death. They're going through some big changes. You should end this connection. It's, it's, it's very much addictive. This person has ended this connection, I believe. Yeah, and they have a lot of money. There's something about their money. Yeah, Mother Earth. And I believe they may be married or they have somebody else in their lives. And, you know, or this may be death to their abundance. Yeah. This person uses their money to keep you under their thumb. That's exactly what it is. They use money to keep you tormented. And you've got to get out of there, Pisces, whatever this is. Or they use something. They have something that keeps you. Um, could be a child. Could be a home. Could be anything. All right? But whatever, a business, whatever this is that they have over you, I think it's most likely money but or some something with some monetary value. Um Get out from under this person's thumb, for sure. Be strategic. Think of a way out is your best bet, Pisces. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. Um, I do think you have some form of like an insecure attachment to this people, to this, <laughs> to this people, to this person, which is not at all helpful for you. All right. So changes. Yeah. Time for Pisces to make some big ass changes in your life. I'm getting this is a connection that's been around for a long time. And even if that means you have to abandon, oh my nose, abandon relationships that have been in your life for decades. It doesn't matter. Like this person is using you and sucking you dry and keeping you under their thumb. And it's, they're financially, I, I'm getting a Pisces that's either financially, mentally, emotionally, or something being, being abused. Yeah. Farewells. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's time to go. I'm gone. Kiss a bitch goodbye. Because I'm not putting up with the abuse anymore. And that's awesome. Good for you, Pisces. Say goodbye to the people who hurt you. Because that's not what's up at all. Discovery. This person's not going to be happy when they realize you left. They're not. Um... But it may help them learn that they can't do this to people. It's, it's a learning lesson for them too. No matter how much money they have, their apathy, their apathy towards you is what kills it. And it's, it doesn't matter what they got, Pisces. Yeah. And if they, after years of knowing you and being with you, can't choose you, it's time. You go. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Because history is way too long here. And I think too much has been done. And again, I think this person literally tries to keep you under their thumb using their money. And that is not cool. So Pisces, get out of this connection. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I kind of hope this doesn't resonate. But if it does, better days are ahead the second you manifest out of this. Okay. You are a master manifesto. There's no reason for you to be putting up with people like this. All right, Pisces? All right. Love you guys. Take care.